Hello everybody and welcome to race number 24 of season 4 NASCAR Walmart Cup Series. I am Levi McIntyre, aka Thrashmaniac99, the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the LifeLock 400 at Michigan International Speedway. 30 laps of what's going to be interesting racing here at this fast two mile oval as we are getting closer and closer to the chase for the championship. Now before I take a look at how the uh, drivers in the chase look right now. I wanted to make this quick little announcement for those who weren't or, or those who are not on the NASCAR Walmart Cup Series Facebook page. There was a uh, interesting development happening in the Roush Fenway camp as two of its drivers, Dylan Thoreau and Ken Thoreau, have officially retired from the NR2003 community for now and have asked to be replaced. So I did on the page, six drivers signed up for a draw that I did, which I announced on the page. And the two drivers who are going to be taking over, the driver of the number 17 is going to be Walmart Cup Series newcomer, but veteran of the NR2003 community, Brandon Gonzalez. So welcome to the series. And then the driver in the number 99 is a newcomer to the NR2003 community, Marco Rose, so thanks, so congrats to Marco Rose for getting the number 99, <coughs> and we shall see how those two will do here in these final 13 races of the season, and uh, <coughs> both of these drivers will be competing in season 5 as rookies, Marco Rose will be in the number 4, and Brandon Gonzalez will be in the number 23, so that is how that's going to look. But let's take a look and see how the chase drivers are going in as far as locked in drivers due to winning two races. Those drivers who are currently locked into the chase based on winning two races include Mitchell Riggs, Chris Singer, Jesse Setti, Jekko Knight, Zachary Fitzwater, Rue McIntyre, and Austin Weiner. Drivers who are high enough up in the point standings that could get locked into the chase here today would be Trent Dunham, Sonny Hammond, and Eric and Rage, and potentially Chris Thomas. But drivers who have one win that are qualified in due to Dylan, due to Ken Thoreau and Dylan Thoreau not going to finish the season, they will not be qualified now to make the chase for the championship. So they will be out of that contention spot, which opens up room for a driver to potentially <coughs> get into this uh, chase. So the drivers who have one win right now that are qualified are Trent Dunham, Sonny Hammond, Eric and Rage, Chris Thomas, um, Cody Lamas, Brandon Nichols, Joshua Michaels, and Danny Wells. So that is the list of drivers who have a win, of one win at least, and with there being seven locked-in drivers due to winning two races, the drivers who have one win that are currently in include one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So <clears throat> that's 15 drivers in the chase right now with just a few races left to go. We could have multiple winners, or we could see some new winners, and if that happens, it's going to be interesting to see who makes the chase and who doesn't. 
as you've already seen on the top of your screen, the starting lineup for the race. But without further ado, let's get this half pace lap going. <coughs> as you see in the starting lineup, it's a Roush Fenway front row. You have Ian Dutta on the pole and Kendall Mayner in second. And then I see in the sixth spot that one of the newcomers, Brandon Gonzalez. Marco Rose is going to be starting towards the back of the pack. So it's going to be interesting to see how the newcomers of Brandon Gonzalez and Marco Rose are going to be in this race. And we're all, we are about to find out right about now. <coughs> Excuse me. But here we go. Green flag is coming out. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing for 30 laps. And remember, this is a very wide racetrack, so they can go four wide and somehow make it work. And I already see four wide. Jessica Sheldon, Austin Weiner, Danny Wells, Jesse King. Right now, all that's going to... Whoa, and I see Chris Singer got turned. Chris Singer just got turned in the middle of the racetrack. And he's going to get collected. Joshua Michaels is in it. Brandon Nichols, Chris Washer. Oh, man. Oh, and we had a follow-up wreck. And whoa, upside down is Anthony McCrory. Saw Kyle Singer in there. There's Gabe Williams, Chris Thomas. Whoa, and P.J. Williams, I think, got involved. Yeah, and he didn't. Indeed, he did. Both of the Singer brothers were in that big mess. There's what's left of Gabe Williams. Marco Rose in that 99. He did a good job of getting by. And other than that, I don't see any more cars who have damage. But that was still a pretty big wreck that we just saw. Coming off of turn two and then a follow-up wreck in turn three. So we're going to have a lot of replay looking to do. And speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay of what brought the caution out for the first time today here at Michigan. Well, here's what happened. Chris Singer was around the sixth position. And it looks like a crowd crowded happened with Brandon Gonzalez, David Rivera, and Seth Cole. That forces the 18 to spin, and actually Dorian Face Puncher was involved, so was the 20 of Rue McIntyre. And then there you see where Joshua Michaels gets his damage. Oh, that's what happened up ahead. It looked like McCrory. He got hit from uh, contact from the 18. Let's see how this happens with McCrory. Yeah, contact from the 18 and the 82. Comes down into Chris Thomas. And that's going to force them to spin. And then, oh, McCurry gets hit from Kyle Singer. And that's what got his car to go upside down and start barrel rolling. And Cody Lama's actually got a piece of it. And there you see where Washer got involved. And the wild ride McCurry takes. And I believe he does end up on his wheels. And indeed, it comes down on all fours. Dorian face puncher coming in hot and wow he about clobbered the eighty or the sixty one. Let's count how many times McCrury goes flipping in this mess. Right here from the contact by Kyle Singer. He goes over once, twice, or actually two and a half. Make that once or three times. Four. Five, and then it's going to come back over on a six flip. So about five, six times Anthony McCurry went flipping in that crash. But man, that took out a lot of good cars that could have maybe won the race. McCurry could have won, so could have Chris Thomas. A lot of people could have probably had a shot to win, but we will never know now as some of these cars are going to be out of the race, but... Let's go and take you back to the restart here at Michigan. Well, as we're getting ready to go back to green, we have numerous cars out of the race, and they include Chris Thomas, Kyle Singer, Chris Singer, or actually Chris Thomas still on track, but Anthony McCrory, Joshua Michaels, and Gabe Williams. So, But anyways, Ian Dutta is the leader. Second is Kendall Maynard. Third is James McLeod. 
Fourth is Danny Wells. Fifth is Austin Weiner. Sixth is Jesse King. Seventh, Jessica Shelton. Eighth is Seth Cole. Ninth is Brandon Gonzalez. Tenth is Justin Nichols. Eleventh is Charles Jackson. Twelfth is Chase Oliver. Thirteenth is David Rivera. Fourteenth is uh, Dylan Young. Fifteenth is Preston Plord. Sixteenth is Henrietta Fitzwater. Seventeenth, Drew McIntyre. Eighteenth, Eric and Rage. Nineteenth is Matt McIntyre. Twentieth is Trent Dunham. Twenty-first is Kyle Matthews. Twenty-second is Biggie Spencer. Twenty-third, Joshua Balkin. Twenty-fourth, Zachary Fitzwater. Twenty-fifth, Jekko Knight. Twenty-sixth, Michael Norman. Twenty-seventh, Ken uh, Charles Sanford. Twenty-eighth is Marco Rose. Twenty-ninth is Jesse Setti. Thirtieth. Sonny Hammond. 31st is Mitchell Riggs. 32nd, Chris Washer. 33rd, Dorian Facepuncher. 34th, PJ Williams. 35th, Cody Lamas. And then 36th, a lap down, is Chris Thomas. 35 cars on the lead lap. 36 left out on the racetrack after that first caution. Let's see what's going to happen on this restart here as we go racing with 25 laps to go. Ian Dutta got off to a decent jump, but Kendall Maynard, he's got some draft help from James McLeod in the 51 right behind him. Right now it's still the Roush 1-2 with Dutta and Maynard right now. Meanwhile, I see Austin Weiner trying to get underneath of Danny Wells. For the fourth spot, but Wells is just really able to use that high line. But then again, the high line seems to work in the early goings of the race. But then towards the end, it's the low line that starts to kick in. As we were looking around the back here, and Chris Thomas ended up holding up Kyle Matthews for the most part in that. Is Chris Washer up to speed? I guess Chris Washer is up to speed. He may be, even though he's got no hood. He's still running for position right now. Same with PJ Williams, so I guess there may be hope for those guys, but it's highly unlikely for that to happen. Meanwhile, back up at the front... The battle for leads starting to heat up with the teammates, Dutta and Maynard. Dutta still hanging on to the spot, and this would be huge if Ian Dutta could go to victory lane because he comes into this race dead last in the point standings, to my understanding. And he has just not had that great of a season. He would love to turn that all around if he can win here today. And maybe get a potential spot in the chase, but he'll have to start moving up the standings or get another win if he does win today in order to make sure that he gets into the chase. Otherwise, he'll be duped. And meanwhile, Kendall Maynard's starting to make a big stride to try to get by Dutta right now as he's closing in, and so is McLeod and Wells right now. As we take a look at the margins... The top four is only separated by almost four-tenths of a second within each other. But meanwhile, Dutta still is in control. Right now, it looks like the one car that is not up to speed is Chris Thomas, it looks like. Cody Lamas is not entirely up to speed. Meanwhile, as we're looking around... There's Marco Rose working underneath Jekko 9. Let's see what spot that is for. And he's going to get 23rd. So Marco Rose not doing too bad in his debut race. But what about Brandon Gonzalez in the 17? There he is. It looks like he's battling in the top 10 right now or within the top 10, top 15 with Seth Cole, Dylan Young, Preston Plord. And now that low line is starting to come into play as the high line groove seems to 
be falling flat now. But meanwhile, battle for lead still Char is trying to get ramped up right now. And now it is official that Williams and Washer are not up to speed because they are not able to get going now. I guess they were only up to speed for just a lap and then they lost some speed right there. But meanwhile, Ian Dutta so far has led every lap and we're almost halfway. And as I'm looking back here in the top five, we got a driver starting to try to move his way into this battle and that's Chase Oliver sporting the Sitco the old school Sitco Ford from, from an old 1990s 21 car paint scheme. And here he is, and he has not won a race yet this season. He's had a streak every single season in Walmart Cup Series of winning races. And he would love to win a race. And he comes into this race 12th in the points, so if he could win a race, he might be safe to make the chase since after this race we only have two left. But right now Chase has just not really been able to get around Wells and now here he comes. But they are approaching Chris Thomas and this could help shake everything up in the top, in the top 10. Let's see what's going to happen as here's Thomas running lower but now Dutta, he's going to go by. I think Danny Wells may be the big victim as he's going to get held up. But now he's going to go underneath. That hindered Danny Wells big time. So he lost the fifth spot to Chase Oliver right there. Or the fourth spot, I should say. Excuse me. Looks like everybody will get by Chris Thomas fairly clean. Meanwhile, Dutta still has a steady lead. Between himself and his teammate Kendall Maynard, and when we come to a stripe, it is halfway, 15 to go. And there it is, 15 laps to go here at Michigan. Battle for third. Chase Oliver trying to get underneath James McLeod. And he's there to the low end, but he's going to come back up and try to catch a draft off him. So he, can, so he can get by. But also we got to keep an eye out for maybe potential pit stops to take place among these drivers because once pit stops happen, that could shake up a lot of things. Chase got a draft, a little bit of a draft wake, and now here he, back, here he is coming back underneath McLeod for the third spot. But McLeod, he's still able to utilize the high line, and Danny Wells, he's coming in fast. He was just a little bit ago, a little over a second back behind the lead, and now he's almost nine tenths back. So he's starting to make a comeback up to the f battle for the lead with these five the other four cars. Chase is still just trying to get underneath of McLeod but he's just not been able to get by it looks like McLeod is trying to utilize the higher grooves to maybe get to the leaders and here he is he's trying to get right behind Kendall Maynard for second back up at the front it is still all Ian Dutta right now but this is the one of the more interesting battles going on but Kendall Maynard is starting to come underneath Dutta this could be our first lead change of the race as they are side by side. Who leads that lap? I think Maynard may have got, but let's see. Indeed, he did lead that lap by one one hundredth of a second. And I think he might be able to clear him. Let's see off of four. No, Dutta still got that high line going for himself. And Danny Wells, wow, what a power move right now by Wells. Managed to get by Chase Oliver. Now he's coming low underneath McLeod. Let's see if he can make it work. So far, no, but Kendall Maynard, I think he is clear of Ian Dutta. So Kendall Maynard is our official new race leader. Three wide for third. Chase Oliver, Danny Wells, James McLeod right now. Going at it for that position.
Back here in the sixth spot is Austin Weiner. He's maybe sizing these guys up. And there's Brandon Gonzalez so far in his debut race so far today. He is running extremely well right now in the seventh spot. Meanwhile, Chase Oliver trying to still get by McLeod, but he's just not been able to do it. It's just not really worked for him yet. But meanwhile, Danny Wells, he wants to get a second win so he can get officially locked into this chase as well. And they may catch Chris Thomas again if they are not pitting any time here in the next couple laps. But I'm thinking here in the next at least three or four laps, they will have to come and pit to uh, top off on fuel and get fresher tires. But right now it is all Kendall Maynard up at the front, but Ian Dutta did clinch the most lead, most laps led bonus points for this race. Kendall Maynard is also trying to go for his first win of the season and maybe get a spot in the chase for himself. But they are catching Chris Thomas pretty quick. But do they have to pit this time, though? That is the question. I don't see any of them coming in. So they are catching Chris Thomas, and they are right to him. And whoa, Maynard slowed up, and that helped Danny Wells come into the picture. And now Dutta is going to go low, but now McLeod gets held up. McLeod gets held up three wide for the lead. Wells, Dutta, and Maynard, but Dutta's going to go back in line. Wells is still there, but now Chase Oliver is entering to the fray. And here he comes down low. Although, but Kendall Maynard, he's slowing. I think he's coming to pit road now. <clears throat> and yes, he will be the first of the leaders to come and pit. Danny Wells is low. Let's see, did he lead that lap? Wow, that is a photo finish if that was the last lap. Look at that, it's zeros on there, so it was thousands of, a se thousands of seconds. But Dutta did lead that lap, and Dutta with draft help from Chase Oliver, he's going to go by for the lead for himself. But these guys are going to be coming in the pit here any time, and they are going to slow down, and they are coming in. Dylan Young, Justin Nichols, Preston Plore, Jesse King, and Eric and Rage, maybe more. Let's see. Indeed, those are the guys who decide to stay out. Dorian Face Puncher staying out, but right now it is Dylan Young in the lead. But he's going to have to get a lightning fast pit stop and make sure he stays ahead of guys like Maynard and Dutta, Wells and Oliver if he even wants to keep that lead. And here they come in the pit road. And there is Kendall Maynard. And I think he will get the lead. Then the next highest right now is Joshua Balkan. And then Trent Dunham. Then Jesse Setti, Fitzward, Spencer. But then again, we might see more shuffles going on. As there is McLeod and Weiner. I think Kendall Maynard got outbeat big time out of the pits. And I think the leader right now is Chase Oliver. I think it is going to go to Chase Oliver. Wow! He must have had a phenomenal pit stop. But is he going to beat out Dylan Young? And I think he will. And then, whoa, Young, he's going to maybe come up in front of him to try to slow him down, but it's not going to work. New leader, Chase Oliver. And this is going to be the battle for the lead right here between Chase Oliver and Dylan Young. One of these two is going to go to victory lane today here at Michigan. Meanwhile, back here is the battle for third. Ian Dutt has got it. Brandon Gonzalez is right there, so is Justin Nichols. So let's real quick take a look at how the field looks. Chase Oliver, the leader. Then it's Dylan Young, Ian Dutta, Brandon Gonzalez, Justin Nichols, James McLeod, Austin Weiner, Jesse King, Eric and Rage, Kendall Maynard, 
Then it's Preston Plord, Rue McIntyre, Danny Wells, Joshua Balkin, David Rivera, Matt McIntyre, Trent Dunham, Jess, or Jacko Knight, Marco Rose, Henrietta Fitzwater, then Jessica Sheldon, Jesse Setti, Charles Jackson, Zachary Fitzwater, Seth Cole, Biggie Spencer, Michael Norman, Mitchell Riggs, Dorian Face Puncher, Sonny Hammond, then Charles Sanford, Chris Washer, PJ Williams. Those are the cars that are on the lead lap, but right now up at the front, Chase Oliver's got a pretty nice lead, but they are going to catch at some point here in the next lap. P.J. Williams, and that could be help for Dylan Young. And Young's got a run, and here he comes down low. This is the battle for the win as it's two to go here at Michigan. Dylan Young, Chase Oliver, who's going to get it? Chase got the run, better run off of the higher line. I think the high line seems to be the best line to go around with for the most part here at this track. I don't know if they're going to catch P.J. Williams or not. Maybe not. So Dylan Young's going to have to dive in deep if he's going to win, and Kyle Matthews is stuck in the pits. But meanwhile, white flag is out. Dylan Young coming low again. But I don't know if he's going to get by or not. They may catch P.J. Williams. Just maybe. And Dylan Young's still running low. Let's see, there's Williams. Chase Oliver's leaving a lot of bottom open, but now he's going to go clear. And it looks like it's going to be official. Coming to the checkered flag to get his first win of the season, Chase Oliver wins the LifeLock 400 at Michigan. Great job for Chase Oliver. His streak is still intact. Great job for the 21 team. Wow. But meanwhile, let's take a look and see the results of this race. Chase Oliver comes away with another career victory to add into his credentials. And he's going to keep his streak of winning a race in every season alive. And he wins here today at Michigan. Great job for Chase Oliver. And he might be locked into the chase because he'll be high enough up in points potentially to stay in that range in order to make it in. Dylan Young, so close to getting his getting the win that has long eluded him in a, quite a while since season two to my understanding. But he's going to come away with a solid second place finish. Great run for Dylan. Ian Dutta, who led the most laps, He's going to come away with a solid third place finish. Justin Nichols, great run of fourth. And Kendall Maynard somehow was in tenth with three to go, and he managed to get to fifth. Great job for Kendall Maynard. Then it was Brandon Gonzalez. Great run, solid run for his debut race here in the Walmart Cup Series. He's going to get sixth place. That is astonishing. James McLeod, solid finish in seventh. Austin Weiner, Gray run of 8th, Jesse King, solid finish in ninth, and Eric and Rage, gray run of 10th to round out that top 10. rest of the top 20 was Joshua Balkin, David Rivera, Preston Plord, Rue McIntyre, Danny Wells, Jekko Knight, Trent Dunham, Marco Rose in his debut race, solid performance for him, Matt McIntyre and Jesse Setti. rest of the top 30 was Henrietta Fitzwater, Zachary Fitzwater, Seth Cole, Biggie Spencer, uh, Charles Jackson, Jessica Sheldon, Michael Norman, Mitchell Riggs, Sonny Hammond, and Dorian Face Puncher. And then the rest of the cars that finished on the lead lap were Charles Sanford, Chris Washer, and P.J. Williams. Next three cars finished a lap or five or three down, and they were Cody Lamas, Chris Thomas, and Kyle Matthews. And the rest of the cars were out of the race after that first and only caution. Brandon Nichols, Kyle Singer, Chris Singer, Anthony McCreary, Joshua Michaels, and Biggie Spencer. Or not Biggie Spencer, uh, Gabe Williams. 
But that does it for our coverage here today at Michigan. We got two races left until the chase, and those are at Pigs Creek and Atlanta. So we are getting closer and closer and closer to chase time. So with two to go, things are going to get even more heated up. But anyways, thank you for watching Michigan. Here are your results, rookie points and regular points heading into Pigs Creek. And I'm Levi McIntyre, signing off.